This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. Oh yeah, you're listening to the Elijah Bailey Show, Oklahoma's favorite podcast. Yeah, 100% auditorial pleasure. Dig it. Oh yeah, I got a surprise. What do you want? Well, you're you are semi good out of the crew, but um. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, This is, let me do this officially. And three, two, one. Welcome and welcome back to The Elijah Bailey Show, the show, the podcast from God's own wood, where we believe that Doctor Strange is about to fuck it up all again. And Moon Knight is just a pleasant watch. It's so enjoyable. I love the fact that we're getting this on Disney Plus, and I think we all do. Uh, But prepare because today is the comic book episode so if you are new to the podcast new to the live stream which you can watch on twitch.tv forward slash elijah underscore 5000 or on facebook at ejb gaming that's edge b gaming um you can get all this information here but also on our patreon i forgot uh patreon is going through a revamp there's a lot of things going on right now uh, i do not have the link with me but we have a tiktok and tiktok's doing really good uh patreon's going through a revamp but what i do want to say is this is the place this is the show where you get to know about comics anime video games and more if you're new to the show uh each week we do a recurring theme that we do every single month so the first week of the month is comics the second week we cover anime third week we cover video games fourth week is the bailey bugle war uh, i feel like we're getting bugleish more i had like a couple 30 minute shows so i feel like we're just like mm, 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 hitting the those topics getting them to you um and if there's a fifth week it's just whatever i or richard want to talk about so today is the um comics episode and i have really enjoyed i actually i've just been getting back into reading so i've been reading a lot of manga i've been rereading uh one that I'm going to give you guys for there's a new anime and manga of the month today. And so our new manga is one that I've been reading. I've also been rereading Haikyuu, um, Siren, which Siren was one that I could not wait to get each and every month in Shonen Jump. But without further ado, let's dive into the show. Why am I waiting? Um, I'm sorry for being late. Usually we start the show at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I woke up six minutes late. When I woke up, I let the dogs out. I let the dogs out to go use the bathroom, and apparently Kylo wanted to come back in. Now, if you've been listening to the show at all, you're a longtime listener, you know that Kylo, can he can scratch the screen door open and nudge the door open with his head. Well, if I lock the door, he can't nudge it open. Now he turns on the faucet, and he is able to turn on the water, uh, even though I have the uh, styrofoam covers over. He's still able to turn it on. I moved the water hose over and the hose holder carrier over and he still turned it on. So when I went outside to let him back in, all the dogs, except for the little Vader, because, you know, Vader hates water, uh, were covered in mud and dirt. And there was a pool of water just running down the backyard. So I had to clean them up. Then they, they had to go in. Then I find Ky- uh, Chewie's big ass just laying in the living room, so I had to get his ass back in the pen. So it has just been a uh, a marvelous, like you know, experience to wake up to after work. Boom, go to sleep, wake up, and it's into the bullshit. But I love the boys; they just look so. I don't know. Some about seeing Kylo stand in the mud with his feet spread apart, just looking at you. He looks like Bolt. And, you know, Bolt was a great movie. Bolt was that dog. He just wanted to have those superpowers and protect his owner. And, you know, I love animals. I love my boys. So I can't be too mad at them. But, yeah, their ass was so muddy, so dirty. I I, I can't believe he did this to me. And he just looks at me like, what, Daddy? I want to go in now. And I'm like, well, we can't go in because you're wet. So 
That's what happened. Uh, but now we're here and it is time to get into comic books. And I want to go into these recommendations because, like I said, there's been a lot of recommendations this month that look really cool, really interesting. Um, we are back to our normal. I know last month I gave you two from Marvel, two from DC, two from Image, and then one from Dark Horse. Uh, and now we're back to two from Marvel, two from DC, and I'll give you one from Image and Dark Horse a piece. Uh, let me pull it up here. Let's get into it. So uh, I, I had talked about the man at the top of the show. I did when I was writing for um, myentertainmenttalk.com. I did a uh, versus with comic book characters and one of the characters I did or one of the battles was Batman versus Moon Knight because some people would compare Moon Knight uh, to DC's Batman. He's just Marvel's Batman. So I wanted to give you guys some reading and this one is actually new for this month and I'm pulling this stuff up old school style so you'll hear the clicking but here's the artwork. Let me uh, turn... There we go. So I'm not there. Here's the artwork for this new Moon Knight series. This is a Blood Moon Rises. Or this is Moon Knight Black, White, and Blood issue one of six. A Blood Moon Rises and it contents, uh, and its contents are black, white, and red. Uh, a bevy of comicdom's finest creators put their mark upon the first and the fist of Khonshu in stories depicted in stark black, white, and blood red. Jonathan Hickman and Chris uh, Bacalo introduced the all different Moon Knight of the future. Mark Guggenheim and damn, these motherfuckers always have weird names. And George Fornes tell a, I guess you can't be successful in comics without one. Um, tell a Moon Knight adventure in reverse. And Murewa. Ayodel and Dalton Akande team up with White Clad Crusader up with the amazing Spider-Man for a harrowing night of adventure. 40 page banger parental advisory $4.99. Now, the thing that I like about this is uh, and we'll go more into this when I give my review of Moon Knight because we watched Moon Knight episode one, which if you do watch it, there's a QR code embedded into that episode. I'm not going to hide where that QR code is, but I will talk about it more when we get into the review of Moon Knight episode one from Disney Plus. Uh, next on the uh, list for Marvel is Captain Carter. And this one caught my eye because Captain Carter issue number two of five written by Jamie McCle uh, McCleavy and the art is by Marika Cresta. Uh, woman out of time continues. Captain Carter is back and now the whole world knows it. Reeling from her new celebrity status, Peggy teams up with Strike to investigate a sudden resurgence of Hydra, but something doesn't feel quite right. Can Peggy trust what she's been told or is something trying to use her as a high profile pawn in a game she doesn't yet understand? 32 page banger rated T plus $3.99. The reason that I like this one is because Peggy has to come into the spotlight and she has to overcome that status of celebrity when she just wants to be a hero. Hero. And I think that's one of the biggest things for heroes is overcoming that status that they don't see coming and uh, that public figuredom in search of whatever their goal is. Because I just did a rewatch of Marvel's Luke Cage on Disney Plus and Luke wanted to be a hero and savior of Harlem. Um, if you haven't finished the series, I won't spoil it for you, but some things change people, even if they have good intentions. So let's go ahead and see who has good intentions, but always ends up fucking shit up. Let's go over to DC Comics. The next one is my man and one of my favorite uh, characters in DC. He, he's among my top 10, I can say that. The Flash, the fastest man alive, issue number one, written by Kenny Porter and art by Ricardo Lopez Ortiz. There's a variant cover by Andy Machete, and it's a uh, $5.99. This is a 48 page banger. The variant copy by Andy Machete is $6.99. This goes on sale uh, April. Damn, I was about to say August. April 26, 2022. 
race through the streets of Central City in this lead up to the hotly anticipated blockbuster, The Flash. After Barry's adventures with the Justice League, he's determined to become a truly skilled and inspirational hero. As a new threat emerges in Central City, going by the name of uh, Girder, Barry turns to Batman for advice on training to master his powers. Let me read that again. Barry turns to Batman for advice on training to master his powers. Can the Dark Knight help show the Scarlet Speedster a way to defeat his metallic menace? Or will Flash be crushed by uh, Girder's strength? Now, I love this because not only does Batman already respect Barry Allen for his mental prowess, but now he's going to do some physical training with him. He's going to get better. This is almost like when Spider-Man trained with Shang-Chi or Iron Fist or any of that shit. So I love this, uh, but I also love the artwork for, for the cover. So this is one that I want to check out. I think you guys should check it out. This is The Flash. Uh, next for DC Comics. This one caught my eye just because you'll see the cover here. It comes right here. Uh, this is also getting a Netflix adaptation that's on its way. Now, if it's not, you know what? Let me embiggen this for you guys so you can see a little bit closer. That's why I wanted you to see. Look at them eyes. Uh, Sandman. The Sandman Universe Nightmare Country 1. Uh, issue number one. Written by James Tyan IV. Art by Lisandro uh, uh, was it Estherine and then also a Yaknik Paquette? Uh, there's one, two, three different variant covers. The regular price is three dollars 99 cents. This is a 32 page banger. Uh, whichever variant cover you purchase, if you want one, is only a dollar increase, four dollars and 99 cents. This goes on sale April 12th, 2022. 17 plus is the rating. Sometimes nightmare walked, uh, nightmares walk the earth every night. Uh, when you sleep, the Lord of Dreams chooses the path that you'll follow into a Sven uh, Elysium or down the hallways of the darkest fears. And sometimes if it's the dream's will, those nightmares escape those halls and go out into the world. But it is not a choice he makes lightly. Today, the... Uh, Corinthian walks the earth again, uh, the most feared of all dreams, nightmares. His ravenous mouths have made him a legend among all serial killers. Letting the Corinthian out again, mortals, is the most dangerous thing dream could have possibly done. But he has no choice because there is another nightmare walking the earth, one that must be hunted. And this monster is one that dream, lord of all nightmares, did not make. Horror comic superstar James Tyson IV has awaited his whole career to pay tribute to the mythos of Sandman, the work that made him a writer in the first place and got him to where he is today. Uh, with that dedication, he's going to bring something spectacular. I like the title. I like the artwork. I like the fucking background. Like Dream has to unleash something so devastating that it has to go out into the world to catch something even more de devastating that he did not create. What is this deal? I always like mind fucks. Uh, Sandman was a comic that got me into mindfuck comics, kind of like Fooly Cooly got me into mindfuck anime that were real stylistic and and they had, they had this great musical background with them. So this is one that I really want to pick up. But this is your second comic for DC Comics. So you have one with Barry Allen and Batman training together. You know, this is a basic training arc, but you get the two ba most badass people in DC Comics. Then you get a little mindfuck uh DC Sandman, which they're getting in that Netflix adaptation. So I can't wait to see that. I haven't watched um, anything. I don't know. I feel I put Sandman in the same realm as like Crow, which we're getting that reboot with. I think um, I think the Scars Guard is doing it. If I remember correctly, there's so many things that have happened this week. I don't know uh, who's getting it, but I do know we're getting a reboot. And that fairly recently dropped, I think maybe like a day or two ago. Uh, but let's keep going. Image Comics. Uh, this one right here, I really like the cover, the artwork. This is uh, issue a number one of A Town Called Terror. The cover price is $3.99. A Message From Home Part 1. Henry West is brutally kidnapped in the middle of night while his wife uh, 
wife Julia watches terrified. Henry awakens to the reality of his whereabouts, but Julie, with no evidence of the phantom crime, is unable to get help to search for him. A new series from the minds of the cutting edge horror creators Steve Niles from 30 Days of Night and Seisman uh, Kadronsky from Spawn and the Punisher. Uh, there's also two covers out. There's a cover A, a cover B, and they're also by Sizen Kradunsky. But uh, cover B also has help from Tony S. Daniels. Uh, last but not least, let's rock it into Dark Horse Comics. This one was one of the very first ones that I looked at. And it's interesting because I just um, had a discussion about Ender's Game. And it has that kind of feel with it, but it also has a feel of Portal. This is called Breakout, issue number one. This is by Zach Clapton and Wilton Santos. Uh, when massive cube spaceships from, an, from another dimension materialize over our cities and routinely abduct teenagers to be held inside their mysterious floating prisons, Liam Watts, younger brother Tommy, is taken. But while governments and adults across the world accept the loss as inevitable, Liam refuses to give up hope. Now, in a take back our future anthem liam assembles a skilled team of ordinary high school students to risk it all but can they put can they put off the impossible and succeed in an all out of this world prison break Join the crew and unlock a sci-fi adventure like no other. Written by Rising Comics, uh, Rising Comics star Zach Clapton, and he wrote Port of Earth and Join the Future with kinetic art buzzing with life. Drawn by Walt, uh, Wilton Santos, who drew for Excalibur and Dawn of X, and colored by Jason Wordy, who did God Country and Wasted Space. This drops in shops April thirteenth, twenty twenty-two, and those are your comic book recommendations uh i want to read these i want to get back i know i'm behind i purchased the latest static shocks but i got behind so i need to catch up on issue six um along with my manga oh yeah that's right so i got a surprise for you guys now I have been doing things here at the studio. You know, you've been seeing the Grogu. You've been seeing the neon lights. And with this latest drop on uh, One Piece, I had to I had to do it. I had to get the... Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but the gum gum fruit. Gum gum. Hito hito no mi. Gum gum no hito hito no mi. Technically, it can go by either name because it was renamed. But uh, yeah, there it is. Our boy Luffy has done it. He has done it again. He has continued to. He has continued to establish feats and achievements. We found out last episode that Luffy is that Nika because the chapter. 10, uh, 1044 was so great. 1045. It's amazing. Oh, so amazing. I, I'm just flabbergasted because Oda continues to create great work. It is just, just amazing. But this is a comic episode. So I do not want to hold anything up. Let's do this. Let's take our first pause for the cause. As you listen to the official sound of this show, Rifty Beats, you can find him on YouTube and that YouTube will give you his latest tracks. He just did. Actually, I can pull it up right now and attack on Titan one because, you know, the final episode of attack on Titan came up. Um, so make sure to watch that. Check that out. But Rifty Beats, uh, Rifty, the last one he did before this Attack on Titan one was Naruto. Yep, Attack on Titan opening one, uh, he redid it one day ago. So uh, we might play that at the end of the show. But anything that has to deal with anime, pop culture, he redoes as hip hop, trap, remixes. So you can listen to that. You can also find his, uh, his works on Spotify where we're listening now, but it won't be as up to date as YouTube. But with that being said, we're going to take a brief pause for the cause and then we'll come back to episode 309 and we'll go into our main topics where we will jump into Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness and also Moon Knight episode one. We'll be right back right after this. Anime Tracks, your one-stop shop for high-quality tracksuits. 
We offer a variety of colors and styles for your training needs. Guaranteed to increase your athletic ability. The only thing not allowed is mix matching the colors of your suit. Anime tracks for when your training is serious. Providing bankruptcy services throughout the state of Oklahoma, Bowler & Associates is a bankruptcy law firm based in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Their mission is to relieve you from threat of debt collectors, garnishments, repossessions, tax levies, foreclosures, and much more. Backed by more than 20 years of experience in the legal field, they excel in finding the quickest, most effective, and most affordable solution to all your legal and financial troubles. You can find them at Bowler Law on Facebook and also visit the website at www.bowlerlawfirm.com. Reach them at 405-733-3000. You can also email them at bankruptcy at bowlerandassociates.com. All right, we had we had to come back. The music's too slow. It was I was listening to it. I was like, oh, I'm about to go to sleep. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's uh, bump it up. And yeah, I'll be scratching. They got the old face hair coming back in. I'm usually not too itchy, but now I'm like mm, a little itchy. Um, let's go ahead and adjust the camera. Done. Oh yeah, we're about to go into this segment. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up the Doctor Strange two uh, trailer and go ahead and watch that. Now there's a lot of things going on here. I'm very excited about this, uh, and this trailer really is Doctor Strange pulling in Wanda Maximoff back into the game. Wanda's coming back to do her thing and to help out Doctor Strange. Um, I have heard great things i've heard we got cameos but really this also gives wong his depth he's getting deeper into the mcu but it was he as we're watching now stephen strange walking with wanda maximoff he opens up the door to the multiverse and said this is life or death and this could re-market her image to where he could get her on a lunchbox again but we see everybody fighting we see the madness happening in the background wong with the swords wanda kind of getting her balance with her wizardry hands and that is the little teaser that they give us for doctor strange and the multiverse of madness it was really just giving us a little bit more action saying that Stephen strange is going to go to Wanda to help him with an issue which would be what he did in spider-man no way home so I'm excited. What are your thoughts? Have you read these comics, House of M? Have you read any of the things that have occurred in the latest uh, Marvel films, latest Marvel television series? Uh, thank you for liking the stream. How are you? And uh, what do you think is going to happen? Because Marvel's kind of created their own... Um, their own narrative with these characters they've revamped them i can't wait for uh miss marvel and then also the marvel's uh film what else i can't wait for blade there's just a lot of things i can't wait for i'm excited for because i want to see how they put them in the fold and it seems that blade is going to debut bloodline his daughter and i don't know if that means we're going to see her in the film as well because we know mahershala ali is going to be portraying marvel comics uh, half uh the vampire the day walker that can walk in the day half man half vampire blade okay so let's go to our next thing so the next day i want to talk about we'll pull up this trailer this clip i didn't want to give anything away because this is on disney plus um and if you don't have disney plus this just dropped at the end of the month again this is only april uh 3rd if you're watching remember the show drops on thursday everywhere uh that'd be youtube on our youtube channel and that means uh, anywhere that you listen to podcasts did I say come out here's Chewy again being bad why are you out of your cage oh he's trying to act now I'm gonna sit here next to daddy oh hoo, hoo, daddy so bad Ugh. you're supposed to be in I'm not getting up to get you back, uh, but we're going to go to Moon Knight. So I didn't want to give uh, anything away because I think you guys just need to watch Moon Knight. It's a very clever and brilliant show. 
Um, what I will say about Moon Knight, I've done, uh, like I said, I did that battle, Batman versus Moon Knight, and I gave the similarities, how, uh, who has more skill, who had better finances, who has better physique. Now, Moon Knight was first introduced. Now, you can get a comic if you watch through the, um the series on Disney plus as they're in the museum and he's telling the little girl about how they used to suck out the entrails, but leave the heart. There's a QR code right on the wall. If you scan that QR code, you do get a free copy of the very first issue werewolf by night where moon Knight is introduced, where he had captured Jack Russell, who was werewolf by night and turned him over to this organization. But once he found out the organization was bad and they were going to try to weaponize werewolf by night, he went in and saved them and went against the organization and became a vigilante. But there's two different origins for Moon Knight. You have one traditional origin where Bushmaster uh, beats him near death. Like he finds out that he's going to betray him and steal some shit. At the, and it's been a while since I read this, but basically they're on an excavation. Things were going down. He tried to stop him. He beats him near death. And the uh, Egyptian god Khonshu, you know, brings him back to life and gives him this persona of moon knight um and but he mark specter has multiple personalities so there's four personalities you have moon knight you have mark uh, specter you have um uh what's his name uh jake lockley i think and then um Stephen Grant. Now, Stephen Grant is a little bit different in the series because he's more nerdy and lives in an apartment and he just can't distinguish when he's awake or asleep. It's kind of like uh, I think it was ABC's uh, Awake series, where as a dad, like if he went to sleep, his wife would be alive, and if he went to sleep again, his son would be alive. So he's living, living polar lives, but each life was missing something. It's kind of like that, and we see that through the uh, the series. So I'm just gonna start this. So as like like I said, Stephen Grant is more of a nerd instead of a a rich, you know, socialite who mingles and kind of you know, secretly funds himself as the vigilante moonlight. Uh, we haven't really met Mark yet. We've heard his voice. We've seen him in action a little bit. Uh, there is the Egyptian god Khan Shu that has given Moon Knight power. And then we also have uh, Ethan Hawke who comes in. I can't remember what character he's playing. Now, I there's a lot of Moon Knight comics. Um, eventually, the Moon Knight that... The uh, I can't remember the organization, but the organization he takes down, they hire uh, Bushmaster to go back and basically cripple him. And what he does is he breaks his legs damn near beyond repair. But there's a company that I think he owns that's stumbled upon some experiment that can reheal his legs. He ends up getting him healed again. And you find out that Khan Shu, the, the god, did all of this because he needed to rebuild him. He needed to break him and make him earnest again and rebuild him so he could be a better hero. And so that is kind of kind of those origins the other one that i like is where he is in a psych ward and he doesn't know what is real or what is not because he's hearing these voices he's seeing these demons but he doesn't know if it's real or if it's in his head they're telling him it's in his head but you know con is was like no this is reality and he's, he's seeing his other personalities and that version of moon knight there's uh, mr knight who basically um Mr. Knight works with the police and he takes like big criminals down and then um, Jake Lockley kind of he's a cab driver but he he offers his insight that way as well he works the city streets and gets those bad guys but Moon Knight has so many different personalities that it makes him an interesting character and he has this abundance of wealth that he gains because <laughs> excuse me because he was a mercenary at some point, he built up funds from all these missions and all these deals he did. So he has a bun. He has like a moon copter and he has like all these different weapons he uses, motorcycles, different kind of tranks, stuff like that that he utilizes. Uh, but it seems like they're going for the more magical version or more powerful version of Moon Knight where his 
suit just encases him at will once a certain persona takes over and he is bestowed the powers of Konshu and he is basically a conduit of that Egyptian god. This is a six episode uh, miniseries. I wish it was more, but the way that they're filling the episodes, it feels like six is probably right. Um, so yeah, if you haven't watched Moon Knight yet, watch it. I feel like I'm probably going to do some more verses, but I'm probably going to do some character breakdowns. Now, like I said, we have a TikTok. I will uh, let me go ahead and see if I throw that TikTok into the uh, the chat because we are on the, the goal. Richard is doing the TikTok. So normally I do social media. You guys know that I'm, I'm usually all over, but Buck is doing TikTok and he had a goal now we hadn't said anything to anybody we're doing it organically we've been up for about a week uh we're at 943 our goal is to hit a thousand followers by tonight it's already 727 so by midnight we want to be at a thousand followers now i know that i've been talking to you guys and telling you about uh, my reels, if you follow my personal uh, page on Facebook or the Elijah Bailey show on Facebook or anything like that, you get to see reels. I have a reel um, that is a Kakashi reel. It just talks about Kakashi's hand speed and shit like that. But it is over. It is at 116K right now. Uh, we have other reels on all of our pages. You want to get all the lows up as well. I have a couple 30K, 50K uh reels but go check those out but really follow our tiktok uh the tiktok is just at elijah bailey show so i'm about to put that in chat for you guys and then we're going to keep the show pushing but make sure you want to help support the show go follow the tiktok go look at everything if you love anime we're hitting those anime vibes those old school anime vibes hardcore um there we go. Y'all should see it up in the corner. Join the ticket doc. Um, where are we at now? So those were my reviews. That's the uh, that's segment two. We're going to keep it pushing because we are at we're at 34 minutes. This is good. Um, y'all don't need another break, do you? Do you need another break? You know what? I don't think you need one, but I think you want one. No, you need one. No, you don't even know what you want. You need another break. And then we'll go into segment three. We'll give you the brand new anime of the month and the manga of the month. And then we'll wrap up the show. I'll be right back after this. Hey, friend. Tired of having to tirelessly train to level up? No matter how many adventures you go on or how many quests you complete, you're still a few XP away from ranking up. Don't get me started on leveling up your equipment or getting to a rank where you can wield a weapon you got 40 hours ago. Don't you just wish there was a way you could have a sidekick that had everything including your training already pre-programmed inside of them? Well then you'll want to order your con today. At the low price of 10 bags of rice you'll get the Knowledge Operating Nano Friend delivered to your front door within minutes of purchase. Finally, a way for you to overcome the fallacies of the creator's world and become the hero you were always meant to be. Looking for your voice to be heard? Have a passion and want to share it with those of a common mindset? Have a business or brand that needs to get the word out but don't know where to advertise? Contact Black & Studios a full-spectrum, cutting-edge podcast studio that services clients from all over the country. Black & Studios offers you more than just a podcast. We offer you an experience. In-house production from audio-video recording, editing, marketing, advertisement, and exposure with over thousands of people listening weekly. Black & Studios doesn't hesitate to back local businesses. So when you want your voice heard, Black & Studios has your back. Search Black & Studios on all social platforms. Email at podcast at blackandstudios.com or visit us at blackandstudios.com. And remember, it's Black and All right, we are back. We're back. Chewie is back in the cage for being a bad boy. 
you can't break through. I don't know. He's he's being rambunctious. Like I don't know if they got new toys. If that's it, and he hears Vader playing with the toys and he doesn't want them to, I don't know what it is. He's being bad. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Vader. Get out of here, Vader. Get out of here. He he's a go out. See, this is what I deal with. He can't be underneath because he's going to unplug the camera, and we're going to be screwed. Uh, but he's over here. He's trying to get to the gum gum fruit. He smells it. That's not a toy. That's not a new toy for you. That's a new toy for daddy. Um, I thought I pulled this up. Maybe I closed it. We're about to pull up this trailer of our anime and manga of, excuse me, of the month. Ugh, I got to wake up. Now, me and me and Buck were looking at this. We saw a clip. I don't even know where we're looking at this clip, but we're like, man, what is that? And I was like, I don't really know. And it was Skate the Infinity. And I was like, uh, once we found out what it was, uh, we found it on Crunchyroll, which psh, everything's on Crunchyroll. But I was like, you know what? Let's make this anime of the month because it just looks beautiful. So high school student Riki and Langa are hooked on one thing, a dangerous, top secret, no holds barred downhill skateboarding race called S. When Riki takes Langa, a transfer student, to the mountain where S is held, Langa finds himself sucked in these colorful skaters will take you through a thrilling story of skateboard battles and unlimited impossibilities um so this was a japanese uh anime produced and animated by bones which we all know bones is lovely this started january 10th 2021 uh, on abc and tv asha an amazing program on block a, they also had a comedy, uh, comedy manga spinoff, which began serialization in the Young Ace Up manga website in January. And the manga adaptation the television series started uh, with the serialization of the Book Live ebook store on March 2021. This is licensed by Aniplex America and Muse Communication. This is a 12 episode series. So make sure to check out Skate the infinity that is anime of the month and let's skip hop and jump right over here i'm currently reading this title as well i didn't mention and say anything about it in the beginning but this is the prince of tennis this is a series that i god i think when the first playstation came out i was really watching it and they used to have uh in shonen jump and other magazines that you bought like little sample discs that you could play and there was a prince of tennis one and played the first episode and after that i was hooked um so a tennis prodigy leads his club to victory at the national tournament there's a little bit more than that but this is sto the story and art is by takeshi konomi and Ryoma Etchison is this prodigy who is 12 who's going to this high school to play tennis. He's the little guy right here with the hat. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in again. Now, the cold thing is Ryoma Etchison will whoop anybody's ass. As you can see, he has his tennis racket behind his back, not giving a fuck, talking to this kid. And the kid was basically on the train trying to brag, tell people what style this hand technique was for tennis. And Ryoma corrected his ass. And then they, he saw him picking on this girl, and so Ryoma took him out to teach him a lesson. The kid tried to hit the tennis ball past Ryoma really fast. Ryoma, uh, let's go here. Let's just fast forward. Goes over here, hits that stance, and his eyes widen up, and the boy looks as Ryoma smashes the ball back right past him and just continues to whoop his ass. And then at the very end of the, the chapter, very end of the episode, Ryoma switches to his left hand because he is a southpaw. So he's been whooping this dude's ass with his right hand the whole time, and he's years younger than him, but he didn't even use his strong hand. He's got a left hand, and he's got even more skill and more talent. And it kind of continues like that, where he goes to this high school, and he just ends up competing against all of his upperclassmen and beating them out, but they have epic battles. So not only does it prove how good his high school is, but also how good he is to beat them. And we know that his dad used to be the legendary tennis player called the Samurai, but he mysterious he didn't 
in the anime he mysteriously retired and they made it seem like he did it for his son in the manga he did retire but you find out he had two sons he already had a son before Ryoma while he's playing tennis but he got an injury that forced him to retire but he is still cold enough though his son Ryoma Etchison is a badass uh, and can play high schoolers and join the team so uh, it's almost like a, a player of the week or a battle of the week. And it's very interesting, the different techniques and different styles everybody has. So I recommend you guys go ahead and read this. This is The Prince of Tennis. You can find it on Viz Media, Vid Media, pay one ninety nine a month, and you get unlimited access to anime uh, that you want to read. And new anime drop every Sunday, or new manga, I say anime. You know, most of them have anime adaptations that you can watch, but new manga every Sunday. Uh, me and Buck always read. We're waiting every 20th Dragon Ball Super. But there's a slew of new stuff that just dropped. I'm getting ready to read today. I've just been reading a lot of shit, a lot of comics. But uh, that is it. Your uh, anime of the month is Skate the Infinite uh, or Infinity. And then your manga of the month is The Prince of Tennis. Make sure to check out Doctor Strange 2 and Moon Knight Episode 1 on Disney+. Plus. And go to those uh, comic book stores, uh, those e-stores, download. I use Amazon for my stuff, especially uh, the Static Shock uh, series. But Marvel Comics, I gave you Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, Issue 1 of 6. Also, Captain Carter, Issue 2 of 4 to check out. For DC Comics, I gave you The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, Issue 1, and The Sandman Universe Nightmare Country issue number one. Then Image Comics, I gave you A Town Called Terror issue one. And for Dark Horse Comics, I gave you Breakout issue one. With that, thank you guys so much for joining me for issue 309. And thank you for joining me for all the streams. The numbers are increasing. You guys are keeping helping us get to our next goal. Next goal is 290 followers. We're at 286 right now. So go ahead and click that heart button, follow, and turn on notifications. If you have Amazon Prime, remember. Remember, each and every month you get a free subscription. So re up every month if you do like what we do here on the channel on Twitch. If you want to give um, stars to help us reach our goals, again, you can tell the lighting's off. One of my lights broke, so I need another light. Uh, we want to get a mixer to help uh, automize the sound and to do some different things in the show. Um, also, different software. So everything that you do and you contribute helps the show immensely. And we appreciate it. However, you contribute. You are a great part of the show and you're part of the Bailey Familia. And uh, if you do want an anime, a classic anime to go back to, check out Reasons That uh, Watch Classic Anime that's on my Elijah 5000 Bailey show page on Facebook. Those reels give you a lot of classic anime and you'll know where that quote comes from if you check those out. But I'm Elijah 5000. Speaking on behalf of the Elijah Bailey show, thank you guys. Episode 309 was a blast. Next week we get into anime and there's so many things I want to talk about. Um, but remember, I've got it here. I finally got one devil. For, there's more to come. There's a lot more to come. Mm. Ah, smells good. But you know, you know, it's bad. I, we already know that. But I'm I'll bite into it. And when I come back, I'll be a little bit more stretchier. But uh, thank you guys so much. Follow uh, send your emails. This is the first thing people are like, where can I send this? Send your emails to Elijah Bailey show at gmail.com. Uh, and if you don't want to do that and you just want to send like a short comment, when you, uh, subscribe, rate and review that review can be a comment. Or if you want to just, uh, post something on Podbeam, wherever you listen to podcasts, we're on all major platforms, uh, Spotify, you can leave a five star rating now. So leave your ratings there. The same as Apple podcast. These are places where you can leave leave your ratings so make sure to click those five stars to boost us and make it easier for other people to find us because right now we're in contention with some of these anime podcasts out there and we're just going to beat their ass but i'm elijah 5000 thank you guys so much and i'll see you around episode 310 is all anime catch you later bye
Hey, what's up, everybody? Elijah 5000 here. Me and the Buckley appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week. Again, we drop every Thursday. If you're new to the Elijah Bailey Show, go to Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or Spotify, or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly, and just subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you, and I'll catch your ass in the next podcast.